No, we didn't. Hey guys, Blazing Wrath here. Yeah. Recently, 343 has released a video on uh, the Q&A thing for the, you know, Halo Infinite's environments and stuff. Now, initially, I wasn't really expecting uh, much, you know, because it's just about the environment. I expected typical stuff like day and night, you know, cycle, wildlife, just, you know, just basic things that w we expect. But uh, I wasn't expecting questions to be answered like heavy hitters, like dual wielding and playable elites. Like, really big questions that were answered. And unfortunately, they said those weren't going to be there in day one. Which is uh, ridiculous. It's ridiculous considering those two features, more more on playable elites and not much on dual wielding, even though I love both features, but it's like, still, I still believe both of those features have been, well, oh, yeah, people have been asking for them ever since yeah, they disappeared. So, I guess I'd like to go over a pros and cons list on, or at least a quick one, on playable elites and dual wielding, and what are some solutions that that can be included in Halo Infinite later down the line? So for playable elites, I mean, uh, they obviously add a level of fun for players. Even for me, as someone who doesn't really play as playable elites. Um, they open up, uh, you know, some new game notes, like Invasion, the obvious one. And it's variant Invasion Slayer, which people didn't play a lot, but at least there was a variant nonetheless. Playable elites allowed machinimas. Like, I mean, there was definitely some funny machinimas just because playable elites were available to machinima creators, and it created definitely some funny videos back in the Halo 3 days. Hey, playable elites also allow a more player customization. I mean, who doesn't like customizing, you know, their character, or at least another character besides their Spartan? Now, as far as cons go for playable elites, they have different hitboxes and or different sizes compared to Spartans, which is a fair point, but I mean, as far as I'm aware, the, the only people, I don't mean to attack anyone really, and I don't want to, but the only people I've seen people against playable elites are just competitive players, which, uh, it's it's fair, that that's fair. I mean, I'm a competitive player too, but at, I, at the same time, don't really downplay um, I guess other people's opinions on playable elites. It's uh, like, I'll give you an example. Uh, I used to not give a shit about dual wield. I mean, not dual. <laughs> what the fuck am I saying? Uh, I used to not give a shit about split screen during the time when Halo 5 was coming out. Yeah, hate on me, right? But uh, yeah, don't don't be like me and just be kind of ignorant. I guess, kind of try to keep an open mind. Obviously, my opinion has changed from that now. Obviously, uh, split screen is coming to Halo Infinite, and it's uh, you know it's great for people that, that still use that feature. I personally never cared about it at the time with Halo Five because because I never really used the feature back in the day. I, I, I still don't to this day. I'm I'm pretty much a loner. Uh, but anyways, back to the topic at hand. As far as possible solutions for playable elites, I mean people have. People have already come up with this stuff. I'm not the first one to come up with this, but you know, they can just be allowed in social matchmaking. Like, I mean, that's pretty, pretty good solution or doable solution. They kind of did that in in, in Halo Reach, kind of. Uh, elites are also in custom games in Halo Reach too. Like, for the most part, elites were only in invasion game modes in Halo Reach, but you can play as them in custom games if you'd like. And uh, you know, and just overall, just allow. Any game mode that's Spartan versus Elite uh, specific, you know, is an opportunity to play as an Elite. And it's a treat for someone like me who doesn't really, like I said, like, I don't have an Elite as my default character. It's a treat to play as them. Especially in Invasion, where it's like, I'm so used to these Saw Rifle, Magnum, and uh, DMR, you know, I've already mastered those weapons. So, learning uh, uh, the Covenant side of things with the Plasma Repeater, Plasma Pistol, and Needle Rifle is, uh, you know, Makes me think uh, differently, like how I use those weapons, because especially the plasma repeater and plasma pistol, because they're not really headshot weapons. I have to treat them differently. Now, let's talk about dual wielding. This is a feature I personally have an attachment to, so expect a bit of bias on my part. But I'm gonna try to remain as objective as possible. Um, just like playable elites, they add a, a layer of fun. So there's that. And uh, just like playable elites, it also opened up a new uh, 
a new variant of game types like Team Duels in Halo 3. And it's also a playlist that I think was featured maybe once or a couple times in MCC. And then, uh, you know, dual wielding also allows uh, some mixed weapons. Like, you know, you can have a Magnum on one hand uh, and a plasma pistol, or I like to call it the PP, on the other hand. Or, you know, uh, what I personally, one of my personal favorite combos is actually an SMG and a, and a pistol. And I do very well with that, personally. And finally, the last piece of pro for dual wielding is just... I mean, just look badass while dual wielding. I mean, who who doesn't want to look badass while dual wielding? There's got to be something wrong with you. You don't know, you know. You don't know if you don't want to dual wield. I mean, the fuck's wrong with you? Uh, but of course there are some cons to dual wielding. Objective cons, which I'm going to mention as much as I love the feature. Uh, first of which is you can't really switch weapons, melee, or throw grenades while dual wielding, which is kind of to be expected. Some mixed. Uh, weapons aren't very good with each other like I mean some are kind of obvious like dual plasma Thank rifles you, right? I mean it's cool but they're both plasma based weapons you're gonna rip shields but you're not gonna kill the enemy or your opponent on what whatever you're shooting at and it's just overall dual wielding just has balancing concerns like you know making weapons weaker or maybe there's some weapons that are overpowered which to be honest I can't think of any overpowered combos necessarily. It's more or less underpowered. I mean, look what the best example that people always give is the Needler. I mean, look what happened between Halo 2 and Halo 3. And, it, I mean, Halo 2 definitely had the weakest in terms of dual wielding factors. Because, I mean, the pistol and Needler are obvious examples in Halo 2. Those weapons were extremely weak in that game. But the possible solutions, I mean, for dual wielding is, well,. Maybe allow the player to melee and switch weapons while dual wielding. Maybe not throw grenades, because, you know, you already have another weapon on one hand. But definitely, I think, 343, if if it were to be in Halo Infinite and if they were to incorporate it, uh, dual wielding, give us the ability to just switch weapons, at least the option to, and melee uh, at the same time. They can also... Uh, D dis add a disable button, enable or disable button, ah. in the custom game options. I mean that that's all that's something that they're doing Shit. with the uh, equipment in uh, in Infinite. They're gonna give us like in the campaign we're able to hold multiple equipment, which is great actually. That, I mean that, that's pretty cool and they're upgradable. That that's new. I mean I I can't wait to see how that works. And right now they said in uh, in multiplayer we're only gonna be able to hold one. But they said they are going to they are gonna look into ways for us to hold make us hold more than one equipment, which is cool for custom games. That's exactly what what I think the Halo community would enjoy. And maybe this is a probable solution that I think I would I would be okay with. Only make specific weapons dual wieldable. Like I uh, I can think of a few on top of my head, like. Look at the sidekick pistol, I mean, what if there's another weaker subcompact pistol like the Halo 2 pistols that are weaker, but if you pick them up, you already you automatically hold two of them. Uh, and, but you can't zoom in with them, obviously, and maybe their hipfire is ass, but they still got the fast rate of fire and headshot capability of a pistol. I can also think, you know, the dual SMGs, I mean, if they bring back the SMG in, in uh, Halo Infinite, make them dual wieldable. I mean... Yeah, if that was like the only dual wieldable gun, I mean, maybe I'd I'd be okay with that. And even the needler too. Now we've already seen the needler in the in the game, and I doubt definitely it's not going to be dual wieldable. But it's just an example. I mean, uh, make the needler dual wieldable, like just specific weapons dual wieldable. And the final point to top off this commentary is both of these features make Halo stand out. I mean, playable elites. I mean, that's a that's a Halo thing, but uh, dual wielding, when was the last time you saw dual wielding or you were able to dual wield in a first person shooter? Think about it. The only game I can think of, the last FPS game I played that held dual wielding, was Wolfenstein. And that was a single player game mostly. But still, nonetheless, those two features will immediately make Halo stand out. Anyways. I hope uh, what I was able to say in this video slash commentary made sense or hopefully uh, 
the people got something out of it. Uh, I have no idea what the reception of this video is going to be, since this is kind of my first time doing this. Um, if you go to my channel, I know there really isn't, like, this is kind of my first Halo video, but uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to... I'm definitely going to make more Halo videos, just I don't know how often. I, I definitely have a couple in the pipeline, and I know, you know, there's there's nothing right now. This is the first one. I know uh, when you when you just look at my profile pic and my banner and whatnot, it's all, you know, Halo promotional, or not promotional, but, you know, Halo stuff, but there's no Halo videos yet. You, yet, I might emphasize. That's, that's just because, you know, I know definitely when, when Halo Infinite comes out, that's basically all I'm going to stream and all I'm going to play, really, for the most part. Yeah, but right now, I'm, I'm doing uh, a Resident you. Evil playthrough every week, every Sunday with uh, a buddy of mine we're playing through all the games till uh you know resident evil village and uh as far as i mean i don't know it depends on w what happens after this video maybe i'll, I'll play slash stream play more halo whatever but as of right now expect just mostly resident evil and i'm also into fighting games too so yeah. anyways uh i'll see you guys next time Peace.